Hello friends, welcome back to Chanagiri's Nursing Education Tutorials. I hope all of you have understood the concept of evidence-based practice in last session. In this session, we will discuss regarding steps of EBP and its sources, advantages and disadvantages as well as barriers of evidence-based practice. If you have not yet subscribed the channel, subscribe it now and do not forget to like and share the video. Let us begin with the session that is steps of evidence based practice. If you need any evidence or proof to implement a procedure on patient then you need to follow certain steps to identify the evidence. So searching evidence for a particular procedure have following steps. Those are number one ask what you want to ask here yes you need to ask questions to yourself means you need to formulate the questions regarding the therapy or procedure which you want to implement such as what are the methods used to apply in the therapy or procedure what are the results of that therapy drawbacks of that therapy etc once you formulate the question then you go for second step that is acquire means identify the sources here you need to find the resources where do you will get the answers for formulated questions you may search in the website libraries or any proofs or literatures available in books journals etc once you identify the source then collect the available information about the procedure after collecting the information then you go for next step that is apprise evidence means once you collect the information then you need to find out the available evidence in that particular information what you have collected in step 2 this can be done by reviewing the collected literature once you apprise or find out the evidence then you go for next step that is analyze in this step you need to confirm the strength and weakness of the evidence in terms of quantitative form that is percentile means if you want to implement a procedure on a patient then how much that procedure is effective to resolve a patient problem if the procedure is effective above 75 percent then you can go with that procedure and simultaneously identify the drawbacks or side effects of that procedure. Once you finish the analyzing, then you go for next step that is apply. Here you are going to apply or implement the procedure on patient. And last step is audit or assess. Once you apply the procedure on patient, then you are going to assess the results of implemented procedure on a patient and analyze the results. If results are satisfactory, then repeat the procedure if needed. And if the results are poor, then repeat the steps of evidence-based practice. Friends, this is about steps of evidence-based practice. I hope you understood the steps of evidence based practice then next we will discuss on sources of ebp the sources of evidence are categorized into following headings those are filtered resources means clinical experts and subject specialists pose a question and then synthesize evidence to state of conclusion based on available research these sources are helpful because the literature has been searched and results were evaluated to provide an answer to a clinical question. Next one is unfiltered resources that is primary literature. It provides most recent information example Medline, Sinhal etc. provides primary and secondary literature for medicine. And next one is clinical experience. Sometimes clinical experience of a professional act as evidence. Hence, knowledge through professional practice and life experiences 
makes up the second part in the evidence based person centered care next category is knowledge from patients yes evidence delivered from patients knowledge of themselves their bodies and social lives next one is knowledge from local context it includes audit and performance data of patient stories and narratives knowledge about the culture of the organization and individuals within it social and professional networks information from feedback local and national policies yes friends these are the sources where you will get evidences next we will see regarding hierarchy of evidences in hierarchy what we will do first yes we go for easily available sources and once we meet the required satisfaction in basic things then we take next step likewise in evidence based practice also finding the evidences first we search background information or take the expert opinion about what we wanted to do then we'll go for unfiltered sources that is research studies means literature review of case control studies or its report then cohort studies and randomized control trials if we need more information then we'll go for filtered sources that is articles critically appraised topics and systematic reviews this is what we are going to call as hierarchy of searching evidences i hope you understood the hierarchy of evidences and next we will see the barriers in evidence based practice barriers means obstacles in evidence based practice are as follows those are lack of value for research in practice difficulty in bringing change lack of administrative support lack of knowledge mentors lack of time for research lack of knowledge about research research reports are not usually available complexity of research reports and lack of knowledge about evidence based practice these are some barriers in evidence based practice next we will see advantages of evidence based practice advantages of evidence based practice are as follows those are evidence based practice provide better information to practitioner it enable consistency of care it provide better patient outcome it provide client focused care evidence based practice is structured process it increase confidence in decision making it generalize the information it contribute to science of nursing it provide guidelines for further research and helps nurses to provide high quality patient care these are the some advantages of evidence based practice next we will see the some disadvantages of evidence practice the disadvantages of evidence based practice are as follows not enough evidences are available to practice evidence based practice in nursing it is a time consuming method reduced client choice reduced professional judgment or autonomy suppress creativity influence legal proceedings publication bias these are the some disadvantages of evidence based practice friends i hope you all have understood regarding what are the steps of evidence based practice what are the hierarchies of evidence based practice advantages as well as disadvantages of evidence based practice in next session we will study regarding the models of evidence based practice till that time take care and thank you for watching and listening my video thank you